In this video, we'll look at uniform electric fields. So these are basically idealized electric fields that are constant. So one such example is if we have a very large infinite plate that's positively charged, and if we look at the area away from the edges of the plate, then the electric field will be quite strong. So the charge is distributed on that plate, and you'll have a uniform electric field close to that plate. And therefore, we can take E as constant, and we'll prove this later when we look at Gauss's law. And because the electric field is constant, and recall that it's a vector, then the electrostatic force, or Coulomb force, is also constant. So it's constant in direction and magnitude. So if we place a positive test charge in this electric field, so basically the charge is going to be repelled by that plate, and the electric force on that charge is QE. So therefore what we have is the magnitude of force is Q multiplied by E, and that's equal to the mass of the charge by the acceleration of the charge, which is constant in this idealized case. And therefore we can work out the acceleration is equal to QE on M. And therefore, because the electric field is constant, and consequently the acceleration is constant, then we can use the kinematic equations for constant acceleration motion. So in other words, if I place this test charge in the electric field, and it's initially at rest, so V0 is equal to zero, and I want to calculate the velocity that it reaches at some time t, then what we can use is V is equal to V0 plus the acceleration by time, for example. And I'll see you in the next video.